Hey everybody, today is October 21st and it has been three weeks since my last update. So it took a little longer to do this update because nothing has happened, but um, as you as you've seen in the last video, um, my plants was doing terrible. Uh, I left it outside and all the leaves, well not all the leaves, but most of the leaves fell off and all of the flowers fell off. So what happened was um, I decided to trim all of these off and then if now they are back to their full selves again. So I went uh, out of town on October 12th. I went out for about three days. So instead of leaving these in the dark like I did the last time, I left these on outside on a on a on a shelf, and the wind blew this one off my uh, uh, orange habanero and literally almost killed it. So I I have some pictures at the end to see uh, to show you guys how bad it looked when I got back home. I thought it was gonna die, but <laughs> took it back inside, filled the water up again, and then it came back. But uh. So here is uh, what they look like today. Here's my reaper. Um, it recovered fully. The leaves are all coming back again. So I did a few things different to these plants uh, recently. I changed out the nutrients completely. I'm not using uh, the uh, general hydroponics anymore. I'm using the master blend now. And not it's not because I don't like the general hydroponic, but I'm testing out the master blend and I like how easy it is to mix and it's really really fast. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, it's more convenient for me so that's I, I switched out completely. Then also uh, these plants uh, it's been in here for a while so the roots are doing not so good. You see it? It's, it's kind of darkening up. I guess that's because of the lack of circulation. So recently I started to add a little air to this. I have a sort of like a fish tank. Uh, air tube uh, I just feed into here um, doesn't run all day but it seems to be helping the the roots uh, grow back to a, sort of like a white color I guess those are the new roots and so I'll show you what these look like today so my habanero this, this plant just refuses to die I thought it, I thought I was gonna kill it a few times but uh, I have a ton, ton of these little uh, flowers that are starting to grow back but they gr they grow back and then they fall off and I don't know what's going on with these but the plant is looking healthy I guess maybe because I keep cutting them back maybe I should stop cutting them so that the plant is not confused as in to grow or to to flower but I uh, haven't cut these in a while. On top of that, when I cut the reaper's uh, branches off, um, started to, I'm cloning these. So this has been about three weeks now, and it still look alive. I didn't see any roots yet, but uh, I've done this a few times, and it took like a month for these things to, to grow some roots. But uh, this has been three weeks now. The looks sort of like yellow, but doesn't look dead. So hopefully those will uh, grow some roots and then I'll have two more reapers. And here's the reaper fruit. It looks really strange. It looks more, look more like a ghost than a reaper. But it's been this size for a while. Uh, hasn't grown much. It's probably because uh, I cut all the leaves off and so now that it, it focuses all of the energy on growing shoots instead of fruits. And there's that little one there that's been there for about three weeks. And I have another one. Uh, here we go. There it is, right there. Has a cool looking tail, but it doesn't look like a reaper to me. It looked more like a ghost pepper. Okay. So then next is my. So anyway, I've been confused with this plant. It's not a chocolate maruga or a chocolate scotch bonnet because look, look at the color. It started to turn orange now. So I, I don't know what this is, but it, it's looking really nice. I, I'm, I'm really liking the way the, the, the fruits look. And in, initially this plant was really prolific. I mean, it has tons of uh, little um, flowers on, on one single spot. Like you can see, sometimes you can see four of them in a, a certain location, like one little spot. And like this one here, two in one little node there. This one has two also, but then one fell off. 
so it's starting to turn orange now and this one here is still green but the fruit is looking really pretty it's, it's really it's um see that look at that, look at that tail right there so I'll take some pictures and then post it at the end of the video maybe someone can help me identify these because I, I don't really know what this is but the fruits are still doing well uh, here's a big one back here and there are more and more flowers are starting to come back so this plant is looking alive again it, it doesn't look dead like it was in the last video so anyways um, these hydroponic is, is really a nice way to grow peppers because you can cut them as many times as you like and then they just come back because there's constant nutrients feeding the plants at the bottom so uh, as these plants develop more roots they drain a ton of water so I, I literally like four to three or four days I just refill them and uh, about three or four refills and I change them out completely just to have a, a clean uh, cycle of water that way my nutrients is in balance but anyway um, I hope you guys like the video uh, that's all I have for today